Okay. So, and actually walking away like that not only helps them understand about leading a little bit, um, but also just it's a retreat. So that's all good. Now this side, we were a little more concerned about things. I personally think this is really good. By the time I threw that over for the first time, with all the touching and rubbing and letting the rope go around him, this never did bother him, it never did cause him to jump away. He got a little concerned, like you see he's watching it now, so it's not like he was without concerned, but just that little bit of preparation really helped. And I bet I could probably now do something like that. Believe me, I've started lots of horses I wasn't able to do that with. You got a little bit, ooh, I might have to move there. So we'll take a little retreat before that happens. So it's a bit of a seesaw. I don't want to stay always on that side where it's not bothering him. I want to bother him a little bit, enough to where he's really engaged in the exercise, interested in it, uh, but without getting him in trouble, without him thinking he's going to have to pull away. So those times when he took a jump and pulled away, okay, you know, a little bit too much, allow him to drift, allow that to slide, but it comes to a stop. He learns where the end of the the ropers. We'll just let him have a little process here. He looks like he is. And you'll notice he's not mouthy, he's not trying to eat me at the moment. So there was enough stimulation there where his brain's kind of had to work a little. So there was an element of stress, element of concern amongst that. Not so much that it had to be fight or flight, but there was an element of concern. And then the mouthing stops. That constant bite you, bite you, bite you stops. And these guys will get fatigued quickly, like really quickly. Funnily enough, I've not seen him as fatigued as I've seen other foals. Um, he seems to just cope a little better. But right now you're going, oof, not, not a nice time. And it's nothing that different. Uh, I guess it would have been had I started the leading from his body rather than his halter, but it's nothing that different. It's just the same things we want with our, our riding horses, which is actually what I'm doing is I'm getting them ready to ride, but also we need maybe a vet to handle them at some point, hopefully not, um, but we're gonna to need to trim his feet and might even you know, be dosing things in his mouth, medication and all sorts of things in his mouth. So. We'll get to that, <laughs> yeah, we'll get there. If he gets more, more accepting, we'll be good to go. Doing great, mate, doing great. So, I don't want to sneak around him for too long. There are some things I know it's going to, uh, be unrealistic for me to come in as fast as I might with other horses, but I'm going to get there pretty quick. I'm not going to sneak around for four years and then have a really difficult to start green horse that can't cope in the domestic world. That was good, Riley. See, that could actually have gone either way, so that shows me you're, you're doing okay with that. I'd expect a little bit of kicking out when you touch them under the belly or around the back legs, things like that. But it's more the surprise that's going to worry them. Okay, If they're surprised by something, you're going to have some concerns. Uh, they're going to jump around a bit, but if I do something now when he's confident, he'll just be annoyed and he'll kick it a little bit or something like that, and that's not a big deal. When you surprise them, that's when they might strike or turn and kick, and that, that is a bigger deal. What, my friend? Hey. Okay. All right. So we're doing these little things, and then we're just going to do a little bit work on that face of yours. Ooh, that's good. He is a lot more concerned on this side, but I'm going to also ride you on this side, mate. So there you go. Well done. That's fine. So nothing perfect for now, like really I'd rather, you know, didn't do that so much on my body, but I could forgive him 
for wanting to put the rope in his mouth. Could get you used to your bit. There you're going to have a little bit in there. That's a real soft bit we've got in there right now. And then we're going to say that way. We're going to say that way. There we go. All right, let's see if we can come over here <laughs> to the, um, the foal stick. All right, so we'll treat this just like an extension. I don't know how far we'll get with it, but it doesn't matter. We'll do a little something with it. Actually, since we've got a little mouthy again, what we're going to do is we're going to just go to that halter again. The rope's right in his mouth at the moment, so we'll just play with it a little bit here until it comes out. There we go, and then we'll ask for the backup. So, uh, let me do that from the other side, Riley. People can see better. We're going to ask you to soften up and back up. That's my boy. Okay? So just the same as you would with your big horse. And it's just, can you notice when they're trying to do the thing you want? Now he'll come forward and do whatever he wants, but that's not too important right now. And that's it. So we backed up three times. That's enough. He's bored now, so he's confident. That's good, Riley. You can see right away. Oh, good. We're going to see if it will survive being chewed. That's not going to survive being chewed, mate. It's a bit of cane. Okay. 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 All right. We're going to touch you with it, like I would touch you with my hand, progressively from these parts to these parts. Now, I would think under the belly, around the back of the legs could cause concern already. We've got to the legs. It's no biggie. We're going to see what we've got. Careful of the strike zone. So playing with it, I'm going to very quickly introduce it to these areas that might be of concern. Just so that, no, okay. Too busy playing with it to be concerned. A little bit of an annoyance there. Okay, Riley. You're quite different to your little brother. Your half-brother, not little brother. Your casty brother. Ruth, do you want to take a break? Or... You right? Okay. So, oh, well, that's going to totally ruin that rope, but we'll just sacrifice it. So, I'm trying to go a little bit quicker right now because he's pretty unfazed. So, I started off thinking, oh, this will be a big advanced retreat session where I might, you know, get to touch him a little and things like that. And very quickly, it's turned into something else. I, I do the handle. No, I do the handle. Okay. Okay, you are so different to your brother. <laughs> okay, so we can see we could probably start teaching this young horse a little bit of driving. <laughs> And then I wouldn't have to be so good with my like blocks and all these things and you know doing all these little little things like this. We could probably start teaching him a little bit of driving. Not much, but let's see if we can't get those legs to back up. You not, notice he actually took two steps just then, just when we flap my arms. So it's looking good. All right. Now, this is how this works, Riley. <clears throat> okay, you, you're not really taking this seriously, mate. So I'm going to come in here, I'm just going to fill this, fill this, fill this with energy, okay? The space gets bigger and bigger, grows towards you and you move away. So he took a step, that's pretty good, pretty happy with that. And there'll be some people that go, oh, but he stepped forward and everything. <laughs> He's eight months old. Okay, do we, there we go, buddy, yes. All right, we're going to just, just do this a little bit, mate. There we go, wow. Now, what you'll recognize, you recognize this from some of your own handling of, of horses, that if they're worried about anything like this, 
at all, they don't even have to be very worried. What they'll often do is take a step or two back and then go to turn away. Okay, so what we've seen from him is he's kind of curious. He's taking a step back and going, that's getting interesting. Like, what's going on? What's all this about? So we've got his attention. Uh, I'm amazed how much more confident he is at eight months old than Cassidy was <laughs> as a two-year-old. Oh, he's still going. So that's quite awesome. Okay, you had enough. Fair enough. All right, mister. Oh, and just, just keep in mind, so I'm, you know, it looks like I'm teaching him to back up. I've actually already taught him to back up by following a feel. You, you saw him just duck his head and things like that. Well, I did that the very first time, put a halter on him, has just got him to do that a little bit. Um, as it turned out, he actually moved his feet as well, and it wasn't you know, the softest backup in the world, but it was better than he'd done. It was a personal best. So, here we go, mate. We're filling this with energy. Oh, so much energy. There we are. So clearly we're not going to change too much today, but we're starting to drip feed in something that's going to be useful to us another time. What do you think, Riley? You like playing with humans? Ah, you're going to learn some things. Yes, you are. Oh. Okay. I'm going to ask you to back up, and we'll see if you can't do that again. Oh, well done. Too good. Okay. And that's it. That's my session. I'll leave him now. He's... He's not worn out <laughs> by a long shot. Um, it's enough, but it's enough. And we'll come back uh, another time. It'll be pretty sporadic, so I don't have a program for him that he has to be worked or things like this. But I do have it in my mind, at some point other people are going to be around him and maybe even having to handle him. Certainly trimmers and, you know, heaven forbid, vets. I'm going to see if I can't tap you a little. Ah, look at that. Um, so I do need to get to where he's you know, just a, a good junior citizen. That's all, really. So this is a start to it, and hopefully by the time other people have to be around him, uh, he'll be good enough. He won't be brilliant, but he'll be good enough. All right, the life of Riley, signing off. I'd, I'd actually, can we, can we do, we're done, we're done, we're done. No, no, we're done. <laughs> we've finished our session. Yes, you can go and be a free horse now. That was it. Done. Can I have it back? Finished. Finished, monkey. Okay. <laughs>